Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Uh, technically I'm still new here too. My name is Angel and today we are going to be reading some more Colby Brock Imagines. Now these ones that I found actually look like short stories whereas the last one that we read was actually a really long story and it was not an Imagine at all. So I don't know why it was labeled like that but that's okay. And just a little bit of a disclaimer, by me reading these on the internet, this is not me making fun of these stories or these writers in any way. These people already can write so much better than I can. And for them to be putting their work online for everyone to read is absolutely amazing. All of the information will be linked in the description box below if you want to read ahead or go read them yourself or check out what other stories this author has to offer. So today we are reading Colby Brock Imagines by username here because I don't think that's a word, but that's okay. All right. So we have to pick a name at the beginning because I'm not going to be caught off guard again. And I think we're going to go with Taylor today because I have my little award that I won at Taylor Swift Trivia the other night. So I have her sitting on my desk cheering me on. Okay. Um, I have my leg propped up. Uh, these are not bruises. It's makeup from earlier. So just ignore it. I wake up in the middle of the night out of breath and sweating. I can't see anything around me. It's dark where I am. I start to whimper. My lips are trembling. Taylor, someone murmurs. What? Who are you? Where am I? Let me out of here. I cried. Babe, babe, shh, it's me. The voice whispers again. Who are you? I yell out. Taylor, baby, it's me, Colby, the voice answered. Something or someone grabs my arm. What are you doing? I scream, hitting the arm away. The figure makes its way to the light switch as I am quickly covered in light. I look to see who exactly the figure is and see Colby. Colby? I murmur. It's me, Taylor, only me. I think you had a nightmare, but I'm here and you're safe. I promise I'll never let anything bad happen to you, Colby assured. I'm so sorry, Kolbs. I don't know what happened to me. I just don't know. I'm so sorry, I apologized. I can already tell this author is going to make me very uncomfortable by the amount of babe and baby. I genuinely don't know why that like pet name makes me feel so weird, Um, but uh, I've never called any of my partners that ever. I don't think I've ever even said it like in a joking way, except like, oh, poor baby. So this is going to be a fun time. Baby, it's okay. You have nothing to apologize about. Now come lay down with me and go back to sleep. I don't want you to be tired in the morning. Colby said as he turned the lights back off and pulled me into his arms. His body was warm as he nuzzled his head into the crook of my neck. I felt safe with him, with his arm around my waist and my hand on his. We started to fall asleep. Every so often, I would feel his lips on my neck, reassuring me that I was okay. <sighs> my eyes hung heavy as the world started to darken. Before I knew it, I was asleep in my love's arms. And the author left a note that said, LOL, that ending was so bad. Sorry you had to witness that. But this is my first imagine. Remember to request anything you want, and I can try and do that for you. I hope you like it. Oh, Okay, well, congratulations um, with that being your first Imagine. Now, there's like uh, 53 other <laughs> Imagines in here. Uh, clearly, she got comfortable, and I love it. Uh, this first one has 59,000 reads, so that's amazing. And it was only published in 2018. I guess that was almost six years ago, wasn't it? Oh, my God. Anyways, next one. This one is called Whole World. I sat on Colby's bed scrolling through Instagram as I've done for hours. Almost three hours. Me, except with TikTok. And much longer. My back was starting to hurt from just sitting. I looked over to Colby, who is still so focused on editing. He's been editing for hours, trying to get this video to be absolutely perfect. Babe, I abruptly said. What? Colby replied, without looking away from his computer. Why don't you take a break? I miss you. You're right next to me. How can you miss me? Uh, rude. Colby, I've been looking at videos of dogs for hours now. While I enjoy dogs, I also enjoy you. So please, can we go do something? I feel like this writer is writing in the style of me. Like that is exactly how I would have said that sentence. 
Taylor, you know this video is important to me. I need to have this perfect. It will only be a few more hours. I get it. I get it. He answered, yet his eyes still did not stray away from the computer. Ugh, Kolbs. I hate that and I'm so sorry. I don't know why little names like that just bother me so much. Maybe it's because I have a name that can't be shortened. Like, what are they going to call me? Ange? Ang? But like, if you introduce yourself to me as Taylor, I will forever be calling you Taylor. If at some point your friends are calling you Tay, I physically can't let that out of my mouth. I don't think I've even called Taylor Swift Tay Tay. And that's not to say if somebody like actually changes their entire name, I'm not going to respect that. Absolutely. I just can't do like the little nickname thing. It just makes me uncomfortable and I don't know why. Holmes, I've been sitting. Oh, oh, uh, this one's kind of mean. Colbs, I've been sitting here for hours. I want to go out and see things, do stuff, live a little, not just watch you edit all day. I whined. Okay, well, I'm the one who started dating Colby Brock. Imagine if that was a real sentence. Anyways, I'm the one who started dating Colby Brock. I should know that this is just part of the shtick. Well, then go do it. I don't give a shit. Just go, Colby ordered, slightly raising his voice. Oh my God, I would cry. I just don't understand, Colby. How can you say, take chances, yet you sit in here and do nothing all day? I'm sick of it. Where does, where do we think he gets his content from? Not from sitting at home. I am not on my side. I am in the wrong. Taylor, this is my job. Other people go off to some boring office and sit in their bland cubicle from nine to five every day. But me, I film videos for people to enjoy and those take time to make and edit. You of all people should understand, you said you'd support me through this. True. I do support you. I just want to know why you'd rather do this than go out and see the world with me. Girly, you being a little Delulu right now. Don't date somebody who does social media. If you don't like them being on their computer or their phone all day, I'm so sorry. I'm sitting next to my world right now. Okay. You are my world. And being with you, even doing nothing, is special to me. I do YouTube so I can entertain people and put a roof over my head and yours and be able to support you in any way I need. I promise, baby. After I finish this, we will go do whatever you want. I drop my head in shame. Same. Looking down at the blankets, I draw figures in the sheets. I feel awful. I'm so awful to him when all he tries to do is be there for me. God, I'm so clingy. A single tear drips down my cheek as Colby lifts up my chin. I feel this though. I am such a freaking baby. I will cry over anything. I don't like this one either. Baby girl. Mm -mm, no. Baby girl, don't cry. I still love you. I always have. I always will. He expresses while wiping away the tear. You know what? The video can wait a few hours. Let's go get some ice cream and walk on the boardwalk. He smiles at me. I smile back up at him and wrap my arms around his neck and sneak a kiss on the cheek. I love you, Colby Brock. I love you too, Taylor Swift. Ooh, this next one sounds good. It's called Cheater Cheater. Ah, the prank wars. We all know them. We all love them or we all hate them. As another prank war started, I started making sure to always sleep with one eye open since these boys are relentless. Although I'm usually hashtag team Colby since he's my boyfriend, Sam asked for a little help. He wanted to get back at Colby for pranking Sam and making him think that Kat was cheating on him. Did those words come out right? I'm really sorry if they didn't. So Sam enlisted me to basically just come into his bedroom while he was shirtless, whatever. Okay, Taylor, all you need to do is be laughing a little and maybe try to sound a little flirty. Sam cringed at the thought of us ever doing anything like this outside of a prank. Trust me, it's awkward for me too. Don't worry, Kat's in on it. Thank God, because Kat would kill me. I sighed of relief. True. Can you text Colby and see how far he is from home? I pulled out my phone to see a notification from Colby. Hey, babe, on my way home, about 45 minutes. Miss you. Okay, so if we have 45 minutes, I better set up the cameras, Sam said as he started to get up and set up. Ooh, that was good. 
One camera was in the corner of the room, covered in Sam's sweatshirt. The other camera was facing the door for a closer look at Colby's reaction. By the time that was set up, we only had about 15 minutes until Colby would be home. Oh, we're the ones cheating. I would never agree to something like this. Never in a million years. And if anybody I was dating did this prank to me, done. Sam took his shirt off and we climbed into his bed. Ooh, I'm uncomfortable. To make it less awkward, he was telling me embarrassing childhood stories. Sam and I have been friends for a long time, so it wasn't too bad, but still, sitting in a bed with a shirtless guy who isn't your boyfriend, well, it's a little scary. Sam, I'm nervous. I don't know if we should do this, I whimpered. I don't like the use of that word. Taylor, trust me. One, this would be great for the whole world to see, and two, I need to get him back. That was the worst pain I've ever felt in my life, and he deserves it too, he laughed with a smile on his face. But Sam, what if he gets mad at me and hates me? Oh my God, he's going to hate me. I start to panic. Taylor, it's fine. It's all just a joke. He knows you love him, Sam reassures me. Okay, well, let's get this over with. I think I heard someone get home. We start to playfully giggle as Sam sits there with no shirt on. Oh my God, Colby, I'm so sorry. My heart is racing as I hear someone walking up the stairs. I hear Colby put his stuff down in his room and slowly walk towards Sam's door and stop in the doorway with his ear pressed against the door. Sam, I giggled loudly, my stomach in my throat. Taylor, oh my God. <laughs> Sam moans. Don't like the use of that word either which makes me giggle a little. This is so weird for me to be doing with Sam, even though it's fake. Out of seemingly nowhere, Colby immediately pushes the door open. He just stops. He doesn't even look at us for more than a second. This is a joke, Colby scoffs. Oh God, Colby, I'm so sorry, bro, Sam says. You're sorry? Really, Sam? That's all you have to say? If you were really sorry, you wouldn't have done this. Baby, I'm sorry. I start as Colby cuts me off. I don't want to hear that baby shit. I'm leaving, Colby fumed. Sam got up to go after him and I followed. Down the stairs, Sam and I kept trying to call his name to make him stop as he just keeps walking away. Colby, I, Sam pleads, getting cut off by Colby. You know what, Sam? Tell us, Colby. Tell us, Colby. I thought you of all people were better than this. Did you forget that you're my best friend? And Taylor's my freaking girlfriend? My whole world? And what about Kat? Did you forget about her? I knew this relationship was too good to be true. Have fun having sex with your best friend's boyfriend, Taylor. And Sam, thanks for taking the best thing I've ever had. There's a special place in hell for you. But now, I'm gone. Colby yells, his voice cracking as tears fall down his face. This is why you don't do jokes like this. He walks out the door and starts to get into his car. I run after him. Baby. Ooh, like, okay, that, that's a good example. In that situation, I would have yelled out, Colby, not baby, all the way across the street. I yell repeatedly, yet he doesn't seem to listen. He slams his car door in my face as I pound on the window with Sam. Baby, it's a prank, I exclaim as soon as he opens the door. Bro, it's all a prank, I promise, Sam added. Oh my freaking God, Colby sighs. I see his face red and his eyes filled with tears that slowly fall down his face. That breaks my heart. It breaks mine too. Once again, this is not a funny prank to do to your partners, just so you know. Don't be me, apparently. I wrap my arms around his neck and repeatedly say, I'm so sorry, into his shoulder. He eventually wraps his arms around me and pulls me in tightly. Sam just stands to the side, laughing his ass off. Colby walks over to him with a death glare in his eyes. So, ooh, ooh. Sam, if you ever touch Taylor again, I will beat your ass. Now that was hot. Yes, ma'am, it was. Bro. I know how awful this feels. I was just doing it to get back at you. And now I'm going to win the prank wars. So thanks, Sam laughs. Oh, you've got a lot coming your way, Sam. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. Just you wait. Colby basically growled. Now, Taylor, 
I want to go lay down so my heart rate goes down a little bit and my mind gets back to the right place, the place where I don't want to kill Sam. You are welcome to join unless you want to go lay down with Sam. I grab his hand and we walk back up the stairs to his room. He closes the door and we sit on the edge of his bed. I was really about to beat his ass. I really was, Taylor. Don't you ever do that to me again. Ever, Colby said. Colbs, I love you too much to lose you. I promise. I see a tear go down his cheek. I grab his face and I wipe away his tear. I pull him close and look into his red eyes. I felt like I was swimming in the blue. I don't really know what that means. I will love you forever and always, no matter what. I smile as I pull him in for a kiss. I spend the rest of the night cuddled up in his arms, just smiling because he's mine. Always and only mine. Okay, let's do one more. This one also sounds like a good one. Never have I ever. What's up, guys? It's Colby Brock, and today I'm here with my girlfriend, Taylor and Brennan. Today, we'll be doing Never Have I Ever, but it may get a little dirty if you know what I'm saying. Colby chuckled as he winked at the camera. Okay, Never Have I Ever sent nudes, Sam reads off camera. We all put up our card for have as Colby looks at me and smirks, which makes me laugh and Brennan uncomfortable. Never have I ever kissed a stranger. We all put up the have card once again. It was a crazy night. Brennan sighed, which made Colby and I start to laugh. Never have I ever been rejected. These questions are boring. Oh, not the next question. We once again put up the have card. Who hasn't been rejected? Must be pretty nice. Never have I ever hooked up with someone in this group. We all, (laughs) I don't know why this is so funny to me. Never have I ever hooked up with someone in this group. We all put our cards up for have, which seemed normal at first. I mean, Colby and I are dating, so of course we've hooked up. But then I realized why Brennan's card was up. My eyes got wide and I shook my head violently before Colby would see. Uh, is this a joke? Colby questioned. Okay, Colby, listen, it was before we were dating and I just moved here. I had only known you for a few weeks. I really liked you, but I knew you didn't let me back. So I trailed off trying to read his emotions. (laughs) I just, I can't get over that. What the hell, Brennan? You knew I liked her from the first moment I saw her. Aw. You and Sam were the first ones I told, Colby yelled. Bro, bro, calm down. Taylor and I both know it meant nothing, and of course, it will never happen again. Brennan tried to calm him down. I need a minute to think, Colby mumbled as he walked away into another room. I gave Brennan the, are you kidding me, look, and he just shrugged. I jumped up to run after Colby and try to calm him down. Colbs, baby. Oh, my two least favorite words in one sentence. Colbs, baby, come here, I pleaded. Listen, this was before we started dating and there's no way I'd ever do it again because I have you. I've always wanted you. It's always been you. He seemed to become less tense and came up to me and kissed me on the forehead. Let's go finish the video, he said as he grabbed my hand. And that is the end of that one. So what do you guys think of imagines versus full stories? I definitely want to do like full stories, um, but I would also like to sprinkle in some imagines. Um, But I'm curious to know like what you guys think as far as splitting up the videos, because the story that I read yesterday, it's not yesterday for you, but it's yesterday for me. That didn't make any sense. So the story that you guys have already started to listen to is chopped up in uh, a few pieces because it is really long. And I know you guys do like the long videos. And I think what I might do is just like split them up and then maybe like every few months, like I'll go through and I'll just compile them all into one long video. So that way you guys can put it on in the background or kind of do whatever you want with that. But if I'm uploading twice a week and it goes story imagines, story imagines, what do you guys think of that versus like doing all of the parts of the story and then doing an imagine and then starting a new story? What do you guys think? What are we, what are we feeling? I do actually really like reading the imagines because it's like a bunch of different stories. So it kind of keeps my attention a little bit more. 
Anyways, that is it for today's video. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I thought this was fun. Let me know if there's anybody else out there that just gets really uncomfortable with like those uh, weird like pet names. I don't know what it is. My boyfriend will call me babe sometimes. I, I just don't think we use each other's name. <laughs> We don't even address each other at this point. Anyways, if you're someone else who doesn't like those kind of pet names, let me know in the comments down below. Help me feel a little bit more normal. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all of my whatever content this is that I am creating. All of my socials will be linked down below. I do tend to post on TikTok uh, once or twice a day. So if you guys want to keep up with me, definitely give me a follow over there and let me know that you came from my YouTube. And I hope you guys like this video and I will see you in the next one.